one of the greatest reviews I got about the Blonde Ambition Tour was from the Pope, who actually said, with the Blonde Ambition Tour, Satan has been re-released into the world. And I thought, oh my God, I did that? Hi, my name's Vincent Patterson, and I'm a director and a writer and a choreographer, and I was an actor and I was a dancer and producer. I've been in this business for quite a long time. I began my life in Hollywood in a one-bedroom apartment with a black Vietnam vet and a white hooker and her two French poodles. And my life was on a sleeping bag in the corner of the room, and I stayed there for the first nine months of my life in Hollywood until I got my first job. I auditioned for Beat It and got one of the lead roles as one of the gang leaders in Beat It. Michael Jackson was just starting his solo career and I had the opportunity to be part of that and to watch it go forward. I also assisted the choreographer on that named Michael Peters. When Michael Jackson's next big video came around, Thriller, I not only was Michael Peters' assistant on that again, but I was one of those dancing zombies. Then I began to choreograph. First thing I did for Michael Jackson was Smooth Criminal, and then I went on to work with him for another 15 years. The Super Bowl, the Grammys, his first solo tour, the Bad Tour. While that started to happen, I got a call to choreograph a commercial for Madonna. From there I went on with her to do Express Yourself, and then to direct and choreograph the Blonde Ambition Tour for her. I also did the movie Evita, her piece on the Academy Awards, and on the MTV Awards of Vogue, where I put her in the costume of Marie Antoinette it became a huge, huge smash hit. I never really wanted to be a dancer, but I kind of just fell into it, and it changed my life in many, many ways. I stopped seeing the world like this, and I started seeing the world like this. Madonna and I were the first to really create concerts of this magnitude that were about costume changes, set changes, and visual concepts. When she came to me and said she was doing a tour called the Blonde Ambition Tour, I said, well then let's make it about all of your ambitions. Myself and a handful of other people really were were responsible for integrating dance and music once again into culture. Some of the things that I got to do were iconic and a lot of the pieces in my collection are iconic. I'm just so proud of my life and I'm so grateful for the life that I had and the career that I had. So many pieces from this collection will mean a lot to so many people. Maybe they'll adopt them and make them their own because I think they'll bring a lot of joy to a lot of people.